Hey First Violins, here's a practice video for your spring uh, by Vivaldi. This is the arrangement by John Caponegro. Uh, first violin part. So uh, let's start off with the beginning. We're going to do this in chunks because there's a lot of shifting, a lot of 16th note passages to go through. Um, so here's your main opening. Uh, just watch the low two on the E string, but of course high two everywhere else. So we're going to go beginning up to 13. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> So we went a little bit into 13. Um, you notice I did shift up, up to third position on the piano sections. Um, it's optional, but it's a nice touch because you get a slightly um, less shrill sound on the A string versus the E string for the piano echo of that main melody. Uh, if you would like to go back, actually let's do this, back to seven. Let's go a little slower through that syncopation and the part where you have to go to third position. So at seven, you've got... Now here, you're going to go to third position, put a one there, crossover, back to the A string, just go down a scale, and then the trill, hold down your two, and then trill to a high three F sharp. And then it just repeats itself. So practice that nice and slow, get your third posi position in tune until you can speed it up. All right, so now we're at 13. We just did that last little that repeats, and now we're going to continue trilling on the one in third position on the E string. So hold down your one, trill to your two, like that, and just put a little accent at the beginning of each quarter note. Um, it helps give us some definition as to where those beats are laying. And then from there, you're just going to do some hook bows. Simply means keep doing the same thing. So just a nice little D scale, third position D scale, going down to a two on the A string. And then 18 is going to be the same thing for the first bit. And then come down to first position. Same thing, accent. Oops, sorry, I messed it up. And then you just finish with a bunch of Ds right there. Uh, so then you do have to jump up quickly back up to your third position for that same pattern. Listen for that ringing D. Tune it to your open D to make sure you're, you're in the right place there. Uh, so yeah, take that slow, take some slurs out, make sure that um, you're doing your half steps and whole steps correctly, but that's the middle section, that solo middle section. And then at 28, we're back to that main melody. So you know that part by now. And now let's go down to 31. Uh, so 31, next solo section, uh, first position, so you get to take it easy there, but do use some fourth fingers so you're not string crossing so much. So here's under tempo at 31, just catching some notes. One and a, two E and a. position. Full step to the F sharp. Half step here. Down to first. And that takes us up to 44. So back to 31, what you're aiming for for your tempo. 
a little bit of accent between um, or at the beginning of each bow stroke uh, to keep the tempo nice and nice and uh, energetic there at that section. Okay, so now next big solo part, we're at 44. Um, the second measure, you're just going to do a little scale. Notice I put a little bit of space in between. And then you get one measure to get yourself up to third position. And you're going to do some string crossing here. One on the E string, high three on A, back to E, four. So you do two of those. Then the next one, the top note's going to be a low three and third. And then you end on a two. So that whole measure is going to go. So be careful of your three. It's high on the A string, low on the E string. Then the next part, you're jumping up to fourth position. So you're going to put your one on your four tape. High three, four. Then it's the same thing, but on, again, we're in fourth position now. Low three. So same exact fingerings, one position higher. So that part again, the fourth position section will be... Now, back to third position, you're going to do a high one A sharp, high three on the A string. Oop, hang on. Careful that you don't get sharp like I did. So high one, high three. To a two. So that one's going to be a tricky one to get in tune. And then finally, we can come down to first position. Go up to third, back to first, third again, now second position, first position, so that'll be a, a big spot to work on. Um, you're jumping around positions all over the place, you're changing high versus low fingers, um, so we'll be spending some time on that. I'm also noticing I didn't put some fingerings in during that section for you, I apologize. We'll add some of those fingerings in. All right, so then you come out to the 2D. And now we're at 59, so let's take this part. We're going to get back to those hooking bows, and we're going to shift to third position in a minute. Third position here, low two, and then move it to a high two and trill to a high three. So you're gonna trill for a while, there's a crescendo, a decrescendo, and then you're gonna stay on those same two notes. One, two, one. I kinda messed that, that first tie up, sorry about that, that was too short. Um, but we finished that, and now we're down to measure 66, 2D again. one more time so you get that main theme again. Uh, so kind of easy 2D sections um, interspersed with quite difficult soloistic virtuosic uh, sections with 16th notes. So uh, come in for some extra help uh, and we'll be doing this in sectional soon.